We started to see the little 50 bikes fly by. We didn't miss it, did we? We did or didn't? What up, we're coming to you from the racetrack tonight, you guys. It is the last, the very last race day, race night. Oh, I hope we brought bug spray, just seeing that. Of Crew's entire 50 career. The last time you're gonna race a 50, bro, the last time you'll be on a 50. Yeah. You graduate to 65's next. This is a big night for Crew we do. It's cool weather, we got our hoodies, we got a bunch of other gear, we got coats, we got pants, we got hats, we got everything we need. Oh, and we're signing shirts now, oh. apparently. We got THWB merch right here we're gonna sign. Yes, dude, okay, let's sign that shirt. Let's get this bike unloaded. We saved Ooh. a spot for mom in front of the truck. She's gonna be here soon, it's a packed house tonight I'm thinking it's maybe because it's finally not blazing hot I think it's like a little bit more tolerable weather although when the sun sets it's getting a little bit cooler tonight Something extra we brought tonight. We brought Brexton's electric bike. Now, you might not know this, but this is the bike that started it all. Not this particular one, because the original one got trashed. But Krewy Doo got an electric razor bike for Christmas. Yeah. He wrote it around in a video. Brian from Edge Power Sports saw the video, contacted us, and said, hey, how would you like to go from an electric bike like that to an actual dirt bike? Enter in a race. And the rest is history, you guys. Bringing a piece of history with us tonight. Brought the bike. Brexton's gonna be riding that around the parking lot just for fun. The electric bike that started it all. Go get checked in, baby. Round of warm-ups is done. Could we do? How did it feel out there? It was so much fun. I loved it. Loved it? Are you ready for tonight's races? I think I'm gonna go check the yeah. race order. I think we'll be one and four again. I'm hoping they just keep that. It's been that way every single night. We've loved it. So waiting for mom to get here. We're trying to save her spot with some chairs in the bike because it is crowded tonight. Everybody coming out tonight for this one. Seeing a lot of our old friends here. It's been kind of fun. Catching up with people that we love riding with and racing with on this last night of racing tonight. So mom should be here soon. We got the pre-riders meeting going on right now. And then it's race Woo. number one. Crew we do's up. Let's do it, baby. Right on time and right on cue. Mom is here. We can begin the race. Crew is race one here. again. Racer meeting just oh my gosh, ended. We You're have here the right best now. schedule. Races one and four. Been that way all year. I love it. It makes it so we're not staying here the entire night. Yes, I love it. Got Brexton Hazy here. Okay, you're race one, bro. We gotta get this bike out there. Let's go. Hey, here we go. Crew we do is the first number called tonight. So for your first set of last races, you got the first pick of the gates here. Went with this one. I think it's a solid gate, bro. You ready for race number one of the night? Yeah. Let's go. All right, Kirby just finished up his second race of the night, dude. Nice job out there. He's trying to wake up. I think he's a little bit tired tonight. We're gonna maybe get him energized with some food. Mom's got the Dr. dinner. Pepper. We I need to get you to. something. I might, I might even sneak you a Mountain Dew, dude. Get you up and going. You're like almost half asleep out there, so we're gonna get you going. We're gonna get you juiced up. Mom's got the food. That's always important. And a treat for oh, after. you know that candy's gonna get you. <laughs> Let's get you woke up before the next set of races. You got two more races, dude, of your life on the 50. I want you to put it out there tonight, okay? Yeah, you'll never do a 50 again after this. Couple of 
of things we're learning tonight. First of all, it's cooler weather, which we thought would be like phenomenal. I thought there'd be no mosquitoes. I thought for sure it would get rid of the mosquito problem. It has made it like 10 times worse and they are out much earlier. So I have bites like on every single knuckle of my fingers right now in my neck, down my shirt. Mosquitoes are in full force tonight. Second thing that went down, very first race, GoPro battery dies, vlog camera battery dies. Every battery of every camera we brought dead. So I broke out the phone, got a few clips on the phone, swapped the batteries out for the second race. Rocky start to the last night here, but we still got the second half to go. Two more races in Cruz 50 motocross career coming up. Gonna refuel, thank you to mom again. Got me some dinner as well. First we eat, then we yeet. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm like a teen mom. They brought lots of cookies for all the kids. Mom, oh, those are Halloween too, right? Yeah. <laughs> Safe to say, bro, the bugs are out of control tonight. Like, I don't think you can see them. Hi, mom. I have cookies. The bugs, I wish you could see them. They are everywhere. They're swarming everyone. Everybody's just swatting away. I'm hoping as the sun dips down and disappears that that's gonna get rid of the bugs too. I've also noticed that even as the sun levels out, it is getting colder very fast. So we're gonna break out gloves, hats, coats, the whole bit. Kirby's gonna stay warm on the bike. You got a bug on your face right now. Too many bugs, too many. Right there on your eye, get him, get him. What is that? <laughs> Mindy, you've only got two left. You've been pretty successful. I have another container. Did you just walk the whole place asking if he wants cookies? Yeah, I went looking for Porter's family, gave them to him. Oh, nice. Ah! <laughs> Staying warm, Mom? Staying warm. I got blankets, I got gloves. My mom's trying to compensate this from me because she used to have this blanket, but this was my comforter on my bed when I was a kid, and I still have it. It's officially cold now, breaking out the beanies, full jackets. Mom's been handing out cookies. Hot chocolate would be phenomenal tonight. I was gonna bring it, but I'm like, I don't know how to bring that it. That is so. brilliant. A giant thermos of hot chocolate would have been amazing. I charged for it. Oh, you could have made a killing tonight. I would have made a killing tonight. He'd be the only game in town. You're the only name in the hot chocolate game at the motocross track. There was snowies last time we were here. Yeah, there was. There was slushies, what do you call it? Shave ice. Snow cones. I was snow cones, yeah. This time you need hot chocolate. Cruz got two races left. I think he's coming up, hopefully soon. We're gonna get those two done and we'll be out of here. Go home. Wrap up this motocross season. It's been awesome, you guys. It has been. It's been incredible. Kind of got lulled there into a false sense of comfort as the night drew on and there's a big space in between races. We started to see the little 50 bikes fly by. We didn't miss it, did we? We didn't miss it. We did or didn't? We did. Okay, we didn't miss it. Okay, all right. So, anyways, we thought we had all the time in the world. We saw the 50 bikes coming over here to line up and realized it's our race. So, here we go. Whoa! We got out here just as they were calling numbers up to the starting gate, just in time. First race, the second round, Kirby Doo coming in hot. All right, buddy, get ready. Here we go. I love you. Still on the radio right there. Felt stronger? Oh, yeah. I feel like you're all over the place. I'm gonna turn this off, dude. I can't even see the song. Last race of the night, or last race on a 50 for our Kruby Doo. Told him to go out there with a bang, full send. He's been a little bit timid tonight, not really giving it his all. And so I told him tonight, it's your last shot at this dude. Give it your everything. Raced much, much harder on that last one. This is his last one. Smash that like button for Kruby Doo in a phenomenal motocross season on the 50, you guys. Hey, last race of the night. You ready to have some fun, bro? Yeah. Let's go, Kirby! 
was your best one? That was fun. That was your best race of the night. You raced harder on that one. You were racing as fast as you could between obstacles. All the things, dude. Hey, nice job, bro. Yeah, Mom finished with his awesome. best race of the night. You That's how so you go good. out, bro. That's how you finish it off, dude. Woo. I got some really awesome shots of you. Look at his hair. Buddy, how you feeling? How's that? Hair, bro. That was so much fun. I loved it. Did you? Last race of the season. He went out with a bang, dude. I know, he I think really he did. It, you did awesome. I'm so proud of you. We've been talking to Kirby Dude tonight. His first He's couple awesome. of races, he seemed like a little bit tired, maybe a little off his game. And I was like, bro, this is your last shot at this. Give it your everything out there. But within your limits, know your limits, know what you're capable of yeah, tonight. Yeah, you ride safe. And you guys, he turned it on. The second to last race, good, really good, really pushing it. But the last race of the night, his last race on a 50, last race of the season, oh he gave it his all. You were hauling you in between that. obstacles. You were getting to the corners hard. All the things we practiced, that was your best gate drop the entire night. It was fantastic, dude. Yeah, yeah. That's, so that's how you go out with a bang buddy. I love it. If you want to see sneak peeks of the stuff that we're doing in real time, you can check out our Instagram at this is how we being them. I've been posting there all night long. Mom's got some incredible Insta stories too. There was one time he came over the biggest oh jump gosh. they have and almost came off his bike. He one foot out this way, one another one out that way. Another mom and I, we just started booking it because we were certain that he, he went was down the other side and you guys thought I that he had gone off. I was certain that he was down and nope, he's just nope, he saved it. He, the, he saved it. Riding into and the mom sun. got the whole thing on video. It's on our Instagram at this is how we being us. Make sure you're checking it out there guys. Loading up the truck for the very last time this season, last time for a while, phenomenal. I'm so grateful, I'm so glad that Brian reached out to us and said, hey, do you guys wanna give it another shot? You wanna oh go gosh. for four more races? I talked to Mindy, she said yes. We talked to Crew, he said absolutely, and I am so glad we did. This is the best way to spend our fall. It's been something that we've looked forward to every week. It's been so much fun, and I think it's something that builds the kids' self-confidence. Maybe sounds overwhelming to get into. It's not as overwhelming as it sounds. Check it out. If you guys are close to a KTM or a Husqvarna dealership, check it out and just see. It's super fun, we've loved it, huh? We've met yeah. a lot of people here who got started because they saw Cruz videos and we think that is amazing to see them out there now racing with him at the gates with him it's a really cool the entire thing's been an amazing experience the people yeah. we've been able to meet the friendships that we've made it's just been incredible you guys so we're stoked to pack it up a little bit sad but we're also just pumped the crew went out with a bang solid finish bro very proud of you there's the only thing left to do when we leave motocross especially on a night like tonight gotta hit up the Maverick gotta get those post race treats are you guys ready to go get some treats yeah. I'm ready. okay let's Woo. go back home made it safe got the kids into bed let me tell you there is nothing like a shower after a oh night my gosh, of the dirt track. I cannot wait. Our girl bolts is dying to take a shower and get all this dirt off of us and get into bed. Incredibly fun season. So um, fun. Huge thanks to Edge Power Shorts and yes, Brian and Bryson. For making that happen. They've been amazing. Bryson has been so incredible. You guys, I tagged him in a couple of our posts on Instagram. He is like seriously such an incredible writer and such a good kid all yes. around. He has been so good for crew and Brian has been so amazing at Edge Power Sports. We're so grateful to be able and to partner made, with him. Yeah, we made so many good friends there and I felt like we kind of rushed out of there because we just needed to get the kids home into bed but I wish you could have gone around to like each truck and trailer individually and said good Goodbye and thank you because it might be like yeah. a whole year until I did feel like again. I got to go give everyone cookies so I got to see a yeah, lot that of people was that, that was cool <laughs> we love our motocross family we love you guys and come back tomorrow because we have a major huge incredibly massive thing going on first orthodontist appointment of our lives for our kids never had a kid go to the orthodontist we got two of them going tomorrow well let's see what happens stay tuned we'll see you tomorrow guys bye